by a member of our group, Cricut Craft Creators, to create a tutorial on how you create images into words. So how you can create your own word art. And it was specifically with feet. So this was originally a foot image and I've now put my words in and it's become a kind of amalgamation of words in the shape of a foot. And so that's what we're going to do today. So the first thing I want to grab is an image. So I'm going to go to my images and you'll see that I've just typed in feet. And this is a design space image. So I'm just going to insert it. The first thing that you want to do is just size it to a size that you're happy working with. It doesn't have to be the finished size, just the size that you're happy to work with. And then we're going to ungroup this. I don't want the back layer, so I'm just going to delete that. Now, I don't like this foot, but I do like this one. So I'm only going to work with this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my contour, and I'm going to completely remove this foot. And I then want to duplicate it. I'm then going to come in, and on this one, I'm going to remove the toes and then close that, and on this one, I'm going to remove the foot. So that then leaves me with one foot, so I'm then going to come in, and again, I'm going to duplicate it, and this time, I'm going to flip it horizontally, and you'll see that these then face each other. So this foot here will always be our first name, and this foot here will always be our last name. And because it's a family, you only need to do the last name once. So I'm just going to come in and hide this because we don't need those yet. And then this one, there are four members of our family. So I'm just going to come in and duplicate it. So we've got four duplicates. And then I'm just going to hide each piece until we're just left with the one. So this is the piece that we're going to work on to begin with and the first thing I need to do is just rotate it so that I'm happy to be able to work with it this way. I'm then going to come to my text. Now today I'm using the text Bastion. This is from Defont.com so it is for personal use. If you are going to produce these for a profit then obviously you'll need a commercial use font. You do want quite a uniform, quite bulky font. I'm working with this one just because it's bulky and it's uniform, but it's almost got a kind of bubble feel to it, which is what I wanted. And I'm going to make sure that all my letters are capitals. So I've typed out my name and I'm just going to bring it over and I'm going to unlock it. And I'm just going to roughly work out how I want it to be. I'm then going to ungroup it so my letters become individual. I'm going to unlock each of my letters and I'm just going to come and roughly mold them around the shape. And as I say, this can be any shape. Now you do want them overlapping slightly, but you don't want too much overlap because you don't want to lose too much of your letters. You only want them to slightly overlap your shape but you also want them to follow the shape as much as possible as well. So once you're happy with this, you're then going to come in and you're going to hide your letters except for the first one. You're then going to highlight all and you're going to slice. And you'll see if we move up, you've got two black layers and you've also got a blue letter you're going to completely delete the two black layers and you're then going to hide your blue letter. You can then come in and bring your next black letter in. You're going to highlight and you're going to slice. And again, you'll see two black layers. So we're going to delete those and you're then going to hide your blue letter. Then bring in your next black letter. You're going to highlight and slice. You can then delete those two black layers. Again, you want to hide your blue letter and you're then going to bring back your last black one. You're going to highlight and slice. And again, you're going to remove those black layers. 
You then are going to bring back each of your hidden blue letters and then you're just going to click on the foot and you're going to move it. And you'll see that our letters have then taken on the shape of the foot or whatever shape it is you're using. I'm then going to bring my toes over and I'm just going to rotate them and I can then bring it all together just like this. Now if you're only doing one or two you obviously only want to attach these all together but because I'm doing several I'm actually going to weld them and the reason for this is it will just make my layers panel a lot neater so I'll be able to see what I'm doing and I won't have loads of individual layers but I'm going to weld this one. And I'm then just going to move it over here and I'm going to then hide it. I'm then going to bring my next one in and I'm going to do exactly the same process. foot so I'm just going to bring that back and this is obviously going to be my last name now you want to make sure that your letters follow your other ones so where we had our foot turned this way we're actually going to turn it the other way so that when it stands up our letters are opposite each other so I'm then going to come in and I'm going to type my last name, not my last name, but the last name. And it's exactly the same process. Once you've then done your last letter and you've then brought your letters back, you're just going to remove the foot. You're going to rotate your toes so that they sit where they're supposed to. And you can then come in and work out how you want it all to sit and then again you can either weld or attach it's completely your choice I'm just going to weld them now I'm then going to duplicate this a further three times because we've got our four names so once you're happy you're then going to bring each of your two names together so I'm just going to move these ones out the way and you can then size them up to how you want them. Now you've got a choice. You could either have this as a vinyl or you could have it as a print or you could even do it as a print and cut. I'm going to do it as just a straightforward print today. I'm not even going to cut it, but I am going to do it as a print. But as I say, if you wanted to vinyl this, you could because once it's designed, it's designed and you can do whatever you like with it. So before I obviously flatten everything, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to change my colours and I need to do that before I flatten for a print. So you can see that I've now changed my colours. Now I'm going to do this, as I say, as a print. So I want to grab a shape. I'm going to grab a square and I want to make my square. I'm just going to unlock it eight inches wide by six inches long and just press enter and I'm just going to change the color of it to white I'm then going to highlight my whole image I'm going to make sure that I lock it and I'm just going to reduce it down and I'm going to bring it over and just make sure that I'm happy with that. I'm then going to come in and I'm going to flatten them. So this will then print out this, but it will cut out my square for me. So I'm then going to go to make it. 
you'll see it comes up as a print and cut so we're going to go to continue I'm going to select my maker today and I'm also going to send to printer so I'm then going to send it to my printer I've chosen to have my bleed off today but you can have it on it just leaves a margin of error but that kind of fuzziness if you are cutting out it will go now because I flattened it you won't have that fuzziness there so you can make the decision whether to leave your bleed on or off I just turn mine off I'm then going to print it and I'm going to let the machine then cut out the uh, square area I'm not going to show that today but if you haven't done a print and cut before we have got more detailed tutorials on this and I will link to them in the description below